There's growing speculation Buzz intensify. that President-elect Obama is going to name Hillary Clinton to be his Secretary of State. She is uh, one of the most uh, thoughtful public officials that we have. Beyond that, you're not getting anything out of me. Sir. Barack Obama loves to quote Lincoln and how he surrounded himself with his enemies. Keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. You know, the team of rivals. Team of rivals. Team of rivals. The team of ri rivals. Rivals. It's better to have the, Clinton, the Clintons inside his administration than out. As you know, there's a verb missing from what Peter just said. There's a very important word that I can't use on your... I know the word. word. Better to have them inside the tent <laughs> peeing out than outside the tent peeing in. Well, we do speculate here. <laughs> well, and I, I would speculate that there's a lot of momentum from this. Well, I think Hillary Clinton would probably be a terrific Secretary of State, but historically, Secretary of State has really offered very little opportunity to um, for 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 a serious presidential run. There are some problems. What do you do with Bill Clinton? If he decided to ask her to do it and they did it to, uh, together, I think she'd be really great at being Secretary of State. But I have no earthly idea what is going to happen. He's very eager. He's on board. He's had a lot of uh, connections uh, in, in involving the exchange of money uh, with a lot of leaders abroad. His library and foundation who involve many foreign figures. That's an obvious impediment, but it's, from what I'm being told, one that they believe they could bridge. I think that uh, Senator Clinton uh, is a very, very bright woman and uh, very experienced. I think this could be a great move. I think it's a brilliant move. She's a good team player, as she showed when we went to the Senate. A lot of Republicans were very apprehensive about her, and she worked well across the aisle. Worked across the aisle, has good bipartisan relationships. Would have instant credibility around the world. We have a lot of relationships to repair and a lot of work to do, so I think she'd be a fine choice. Look, this is the woman who played the race card on Barack Obama. This is the woman whose foreign policy experience consists of making a fool of herself and fabricating a story about Bosnia. This is the woman who, with her husband, have so many connections, fundraising connections overseas, Indonesia, China, the people they've pardoned. It's a ludicrous embarrassment for the president and for the country. I am very suspicious when John Kyle a major supporter of the war in Iraq, a complete hawk, a neocon in many ways, complete hawk, supports her for this. She's got the experience, uh, she's got the temperament for it. Uh, I think she would be well received around the world, so my own initial reaction is it would be a very good selection. I think she's a good pick from, from President-elect Obama's point of view, and from my point of view, you know, she supported the Iraq war, she never apologized for it, she voted for the Kyle Lieberman amendment, she's on the more hawkish side of the Democratic Party. Remember the 3 a.m. Uh, phone call? She might be making the 3 a.m. phone call. And now I guess that 3 a.m. phone call. Wait, <laughs> the, the situation where we'll have instructions to just direct it to the State <laughs> Department, no problem at all.